we like to feature the winners. And what is the winner for us? The winner for us is who makes you a winner. And in the world of digital, it comes down to data. But before we go into the details, which are really juicy, I would like to ask, or how did you come to Luminati? What is your background and why are you there? Thank you, Marco, for having me, first of all. Always smiling when talking to you. Uh, my name is Or Lenschner. I'm the CEO of Luminati Networks. Uh, I've started at Luminati in the end of 2015. It was a product within a, another company called Hola. Uh, and Hola was and still is a consumer VPN, which is based on a peer-to-peer -peer technology. Uh, at around 2014, I would say mid-end 2014, companies started approaching Hola at the time, uh, saying, listen, this is amazing because we can see the web as a real consumer. No one is hiding anything from us and it's easier for us to compete this way. And they just came and asked for an API for this amazing product. So this is how it started. And Luminati started to gain more and more traction because it solved an actual real problem. We're talking about publicly available data that you as an individual can easily open your browser and see. But if you're a company and you want to collect this data in large scale, you will get blocked. That's one problem that we realized that we can help solve. You are technically reading the internet through the ISP accounts of your VPN business to be a yeah, normal user and not a competitor trying to find out the information. We have many partners today, for example, app developers, software developers, and our own application and software that offers real consumers, device owners, me, you, anyone who holds a computer or, um, a, or a mobile device, to opt in to our network in a very transparent way. So we created a, we call it a triple win situation. We get the infrastructure to help our customers. We pay those partners, those app developers or software developers for their users to choose to opt in. And the, the, the most important part in the equation, those users who opt into the Illuminati network will always get something very valuable. And this actually created this massive, huge network of what we call residential IPs that our customers can utilize with our platform and the tools that we've created along the years to see the web in large scale from real consumer eyes. You know, we have many uh, big financial investors, the Blackstones of the world, who are looking for exactly that global scalable SaaS business. And a um, lot of people are asking us about Luminati. It's one of those firms everyone is curious about where you go strategically. But give us a, a bit of a, just a feel of who are your customers today. Sure. So I'll... I'll try to answer it from a few different directions. First of all, about the company. We're, uh, we've just reached uh, 220 employees, uh, a lot in Israel, but all around the world. We have around 10,000 customers today, and I'm talking about the biggest companies in the world from almost any sector you can think of. The, the largest vertical, <clears throat> excuse me, or the use case that we talk about is the e-commerce industry. That's, that's kind of obvious, but what we've seen in the last year is just that this industry in, in regards to data collection for being able to compete better, we, we are now living in the year of 2030. Okay, so COVID just in a few weeks or months pushed us 10 years ahead. And it's obvious why, because so many new types of users shifted from the physical world to the digital world. I'm we're talking about hundreds of different data points that you can find in any product page. Uh, this is the type of data that the e-commerce customers are collecting with Luminati in order to be more competitive and to win every single conversion that they can win. You know, most companies are talking about understanding their own data to improve conversions. But that's just half of the story, right? You also need to yeah. see, to look around and understand what you're comparing. So interesting. So interesting. You are saying it. Everyone type of collects data, right? Is there like a 
Fortune 500 penetration story for you? Sure. Yeah, of course. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really share the, the actual examples, but we have a very um, big percentage of Fortune 50, I would say, even, not 500. Okay. Because you need to understand data today, and uh, this is not something that I need to convince anyone about. It's obvious. Data is mission critical for any business today. How can we help my conference attendees, and I guess videos like this help, um, make your tools more accessible and also think in when they see data that this is something they should collect? Yeah, so great question because you can see how everything is changing in, in the last few mm -hmm. years. So any everyone are talking about data under the context, context that yeah, we already got the data. Now we need to clean it, to prepare it, then to analyze it and to get the right insights. Getting the data is sometimes way harder than analyzing it and cleaning it and you know putting it in, in, in the right format and all of these things. So our products allow you to point in the, that direction, tell us this is the data I want. You don't even need to do it yourself any, anymore today. Okay, just this is the data I want. I want it three times an hour in that format injected into my S3 AWS yeah. bucket and we'll do everything for you, including the, you know, the gaining access to that data source, extracting it, parsing it, qualifying it, boom, it's in your uh, server, anywhere Amazing. you want it. If you don't have a team of five to seven people in data analytics, it's harder for you to compete. Is that a right statement? Oh, that's a, a, a very accurate statement. In, in, in larger corporations, you will find hundreds of people with the data in their title. And they are, and, and for a good cause, I, I didn't say for nothing that data is mission critical and data collection is mission critical. But what do you say when people ask you how big is your market or? I don't know. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's so big that I don't know. <laughs> Listen, it, data, that, that's the word. I mean, it's not the new oil, it's the new water. How many companies use now uh, Luminati data you think for their marketing approaches to find customers and then to personalize content, how to reach out to them. Um, I guess with having personalized approaches powered by data, you are GDPR compliant, right? And th th course, that yeah. is very interesting. People so, don't like to talk about GDPR because they're afraid of GDPR and any other yeah. legal regulation. I love GDPR, finally someone decided what's right and what's wrong. And then you just need to make sure you're compliant with it. That's it. So first of all, we are GDPR, GDPR compliant and other initials from other countries that talks about this kind of privacy data regulation, PII, you know, personal identifying uh, information. We are compliant. We make sure that we are, we are compliant. We pay external auditors to check that we are compliant because we have to make sure that this is the case. And yes, we see uh, many customers, usually the bigger corporations asking about it. For the long run, it's always more beneficial to be ethical and legal, uh, even if it can be a bit painful at the beginning. There sure. is a, a gigantic area of helping the weak ones uh, with data and empowering them by yeah, illuminate <laughs> the injustice and finding the needle in the hay. And I would like you to talk about the children. Today we, we are working with almost 50 different universities, NGOs, nonprofits, pro bono for free, giving them our uh, platform to do very impressive researches uh, around uh, on, on things that you can't even imagine. Anyway, one of our customer uh, customers that work that this is their business. They are a nonprofit organization working with law enforcement in the in the United States. Used our service to scan a huge amount of images and compare it. They did the analysis of the image and the comparison to the images of those children that their parents couldn't find them for, for months. And they actually found 12 of them and were able to track them down and to bring them back to their families. Now, this is an old wow. story. We were never able to think of 
use cases for our business. It's always coming from our customers. It's true for, for, for commercial customers, but it's also true for uh, these type of, you know, more value-driven uh, nonprofit organizations. They need data. They know what to do with this data. It's not our job to analyze the data. They know how to do it better than us. We're the best in collecting that data, you know, organizing it, and basically taking unstructured data from the web and structuring it into a table. And then they, their science teams know how to do it better than anyone else. This is the beauty. This is their business. Basically, we're talking about three different pillars. The, the, the most basic pillar of products that we have is those proxy infrastructure, this proxy in infrastructure that we've started with. Um, and this infrastructure can empower every company that wants to collect data. Yes, they will have to have some knowledge of how to write the crawler. On top of it, we have the data products. These, these are the, the products that you also experienced with, uh, that you tell us what data you want to get, when, where, what format, and you just get it, okay? This is the data products. This is uh, what we're focused at today. And the pillar above it, these are the data, what we call the data sets. So eventually, or not eventually, actually today, you can just tell us, listen, I don't even want to sign up to Luminati. Okay? I don't know how to set anything myself. I, I don't even want to know. I just want a CSV or an Excel sheet or any, anything that you, it's easy for you to work with, with this data, okay? And you'll send us an email with the data you want to get, and you'll just get data sets. Once you know how to do it, then your community, like you have a VPN community at Holler, can use that expertise because you as Luminati grew your competences on data collection. And you told That's me right. that, that for you, it's all about getting the data. Right? And, this is, and this is about being a product company. So once we've realized how to do something, all of our customer enjoy it. They don't even know about it. So it's not that you don't need an engineer from Luminati to work with you so it will be successful. It just works because we're building our products this way. Still, we have a big team of account managers and a 24 hour global support because you also need to get the best service that you can get even when the product is great. So Or, um, I think it was a wonderful discussion. I think we covered a lot more than I anticipated and um, <laughs> I learned. I learned a lot about Luminati, what I didn't know. Um, I think people should really follow my recommendation. I have introduced company service providers to my NOAA conference speakers for decades. I think rarely, rarely I felt so um, strong of making that recommendation. Yeah, Marco, thank you very much for this. It was super interesting for me. <laughs>